hello everyone welcome in my channel asp.net core today i am going to show you search available rooms uh, functionality of hotel booking uh, project in asp.net core so this is the ui of the search available rooms so first of all uh, a user uh, assign a date from as well as a date to so after that in between dates the new new user uh, did not uh, booked that room that is already booked okay so in uh, 8 to 8 that room is booked okay so after that uh, the new user will assign it and uh, just passed it uh, the in between the uh, like uh, 6 to 7 8 is free actually uh, only 6 and 7 is booked okay so in the morning uh, 6 7 is uh, reserved so after search the only one room is available so first floor second room that is available so uh, just back to the list and uh, just check the user ui and the search again search result oh okay so how to make that ui first of all so uh, just going to the view model of the search room view model so here we have a date from date to a number of adults number of childs and date from and date to assign the null value and the number of adults and number of childs is there and the i list of rooms available so list of rooms uh, in a search view model so that is the uh, uh, search view model and uh, after that you can use uh, just going to the section of uh, controller that is user ui controller and uh, in a user ui controller you can check search result so first of all search uh, room view model vm assigned in the parameter and the view uh, vm dot date from is null so first of all that is the null uh, date from and date to uh, the first time is null so return view and check the view section uh, search result so uh, if date from and date to is null that only first form that is uh, that is uh, 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 run so in this form we have a date from date to number of adults and a number of sites and when we click after uh, after filling the form when we click on the button that is the submit button a vm contain date from date to and number of sites and uh, number of uh, adults so that code will be run variable room books available uh, room books so from the bookings uh, date from and date to from the bookings we will pick uh, date from and date to so after uh, getting uh, the date um, um, just leave uh, between the dates that is already booked so date from and date to when we uh, user assign date from and date to so that uh, formula is applied in between date is not uh, selected after that accept uh, that uh, booked room accept the rooms okay so available rooms is uh, also assign the type of rooms and uh, so uh, if available rooms is there so you can check one by one item dot maximum adult is greater than equals to number of adults and item dot max child is greater than equals to vm dot number of childs so vm dot room dot add that is item so available of rooms is show after that you can assign that uh, vm to the view and in the below section you can check a two hidden field that is date from and date to as well as uh, model is not equals to null and in a for each loop we iterate rooms that is available in the room in the model and input type equals to submit aspxn equals to booking when we click on the uh, book now button the item id will uh, assign to the route and uh, asp action is the same that is booking that is available in below section that is booking so date from date to room id and booking you can assign in the booking so thank you very much for watching this